Hey, I'm Katrina and I'm back with Josh Prentice, REI's Land Survey Department Manager. Um, this is part two of a discussion Josh and I started. So if you'd like to hear more about what you may have missed, please check out our part one of our surveying discussion. Um, again, thank you, Josh, for taking time to answer my questions. No problem. Um, so you know that um, I'm a home owner and my husband and I have been searching for a new home for like an odd, unbelievable amount of years, like four years, whatever. So um, we're searching for a new home. We might potentially build a new home. Um, why might I or other residential um, property owners need a survey? Well, that's a very important question because, um, you know, one of the most <clears throat> of the important times in people's lives, one of their largest investments uh, is their home and the land that it's on. Um, it, it's always a great investment to know exactly the limits of what you own and what you purchased, or what you're spending your dollars on. Um, and also, you know, where are the corners, where are the limits of that property uh, is very important. Mm -hmm. um, so I've also heard through my searching things about like floodplains or um, insurance costs if you're in a floodplain. So what what does a survey help with that? Um, as surveyors, we can go out and uh, measure elevations. And when we do that, we can relate that to what FEMA has established for floodplains uh, throughout the state of Wisconsin. Um, most of the time, uh, we can take that data, we'll relay it into uh, FEMA's mapping, and we can fill out a letter of map amendment or an elevation certificate uh, and, and provide that to the client or to FEMA to either remove the structure from the floodplain uh, potentially, or at least uh, at a minimum, maybe reduce their costs for what your insurance would cost. Sure, yeah, definitely. Um, now, what if I find land um, and it's like a large plot of land and they wanna divide that land? I only wanna purchase one part of it. What kind of a survey would I need for that? Um, it really depends on the jurisdiction of where that property is, but most of the time uh, a certified survey map would be the type of document that you're looking for, uh, especially if they're deciding to divide the land into one or four parcels, uh, somewhere in that range. Um, and if you have any questions, I can certainly help you out with that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, thanks, Josh. Um, we'll come back again. I have more questions for you, but I think that answers everything that I would need to know as a homeowner. Do you have anything else? I don't at this time. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.